video a walk with Phil and today I'm in Smethwick and the reason I'm here at Smethwick is because I'm near a building that's now for sale uh, called the Smethwick Baths or is it the Thimble Mill Baths not really sure but nevertheless the Smethwick Baths has been the host to a lot of famous names over the years when it comes to pop groups, singers and in 1962 even the Beatles appeared here at the Smethwick Baths so what I want to do is just to show you around uh, the baths as they are today on the outside obviously and then we make our way up to West Brom and see if we can find the site of where they played their second concert that evening in 1962 at the Adelphi I'm on Thimble Mill Road, I'll tell you what, Thimble Mill Road is a very, very long road. But Thimble Mill Road has its fair share of old terrace properties along here. And there's a lot of these Maisonet types properties around here as well. And if we carry on further up here, we do get to a lot of shops up there, up the Smedic near Cape Hill. Just here now to my right, we've got the Smedic Baths. And it was opened in 1933, uh, Art Deco, it's Grade 2 listed. Any potential buyers of this property are a bit limited as to what they can actually do. Uh, but you can see they're standing proudly here along Thimble Mill Road. The building itself opened in 1933. It was actually opened as a two-season facility. Uh, during the summer there'd be swimming and in the winter there would be concerts. Uh, it took two weeks to put a floor over the, a board if you like, over the top of the swimming pool. So it was an arduous task to get it set up for the winter time. And during the winter time they'd have concerts, dances, wrestling matches, boxing matches and exhibitions. Um, they'd also have a large cafe upstairs. And by 1965 uh, the council decided they wanted to build another swimming pool. So they built another pool on the side of it. Plus a new bar and function room. About the 1970s they stopped boarding over the pool so both pools then could be used for swimming lessons, swimming clubs and the function room was used as a fitness class and they uh, included a sauna and a health suite. Uh, they also built a state-of-the-art gymnasium where the old cafe used to be and also included a dance studio. Underneath the Smedic Baths is a very intricate subway system where there's access to the maintenance areas such as the piping and that was used also during the Second World War as an air raid shelter because of its robust nature of the building. The underground system of the subway was used for filming locations and it used to hold monthly paranormal events. Uh, to see how many ghosts they could find here because apparently it's uh, it's one of those haunted buildings. I'm not sure if this is a myth or not but it's also been said that the Cray Twins, the infamous Cray Twins, would come here to watch and bet on the boxing matches that took place here at the Baths. More importantly of course it was the Beatles. Plus of course there's other groups that actually appeared here. The uh, Kings have been here, the Who, and even comedian Tommy Cooper was also um, visited the place. So in 1962 on a Monday evening on the 19th of November the Beatles came to Smethwick and they came to these baths. Actually the Beatles played three concerts that day. They also had already made, did a concert at the Cavern in Liverpool at, a, at midday. In fact it was their 144th lunchtime performance at the Cavern. They were there from 12 o'clock noon till 2 in the afternoon. And that is when they started to make their mad dash down here to Smethwick uh, for their evening performance. And it wasn't as though it was a large performance, it was only 25 minutes. And it was a 25 minute set, there was all, all the supporting artists with the Beatles that evening. The Beatlemania was just beginning because a, few, a month before they'd already released their first single, Love Me Do. Well that wasn't a great success, it got to number 17 in the charts. Was you one of those people who came here screaming? Uh, because of course if you did the music would have been inaudible because they'd only have a, a small amplifier they plug their guitars in and a mic set up for Ringo to play his drums 
Uh, it wasn't a few until a few years later when you've got these huge stack systems where um, the music would be pumped out at a very mu a much higher volume. Uh, so that was it. That was it. The Beatles. They actually appeared here on the evening of 19th of November 1962. Anyway, the swim baths closed in July of 2023. It's currently up for sale for bids of over £250,000 and the final bids must be in by the end of September of 2024. If any of the offers are not acceptable, the council have said as a last resort, they will put it up for auction. That's the Smedic Baths for you. So let's, let's make our way over to where the Adelphi was in West Bromwich. I've made it back to West Bromwich and what I'm going to do now is see if I can find the site of where the Adelphi uh, ballroom used to used to be it's no longer there of course because it got burned down uh, it happened in 1971 I believe where a fire took hold of the building and I don't think there was much of it left when it uh, when the fire was finally extinguished. I don't know much, too much about the, the fire itself. Was it arson? Uh, was it an accident? Uh, but uh, it was kind of before my time really, the Adelphi. But uh, anyway, we're gonna have a look and see what we can see of the, the old site of where it used to be. The Beatles played at St Thimble Mill Road on the 19th of November 1962. From there, from Smedic, up here to West Bromwich for their third concert of the day. Their first concert was at the Cavern in Liverpool, a lunchtime concert. They were there from 12 till 2, then they made their 85 mile journey down towards Smedic. And now they would have made their way on that Monday evening to here in New Street in West Bromwich. And I'm going to try and show you whereabouts the Adelphi was. And if you look here, there's this modern building block here. That's where the Adelphi once was. As I said, it got burned down in a fire in May of 1971. The only thing I remember about this place was just over there where Batches uh, solicitors were. It was around there you could I could see still the remnants of the rear of the building still standing after the fire because I lived in Alfred Street which was in that direction towards New Square shopping centre. It was a while as well before they actually removed the burning the, the burnt uh, remains of the building just over there by the wall uh, ahead and then the landscaped and this was this this car parking area was a kind of a grassy bank uh, but it, a building that was originally called the Palais de Dance and it was opened in the 20s I believe and then it, it, it became the Adelphi Ballroom. Well it was a, a dancing venue and it was the number one venue of choice for those people who, uh, who enjoyed music and dancing. They would come here to the Adelphi and it would have such um, Famous bands in the 60s such as The Move, the Spencer Davis Group, The Fortunes, uh, The Who actually played here in 1967, Pink Floyd played here in 1967 and Genesis, well, probably one of the biggest acts before it burned down, appeared here in 1970. 
But uh, even when it, when it was the Palais de Danse, it, it had boxing matches then. And I still think they did boxing and wrestling nights here at the Adelphi, as well as the normal dancing and uh, musical concerts that they had in the 60s. Again, if you didn't wasn't one of the screaming fans down at the Smellic Baths, was you one of the screaming fans here at the Adelphi? <laughs> As I said, I never remember the Adelphi. In fact, I've never seen an actual photograph of the Adelphi, whereas we got the swimming baths, the Smedic baths in Thimble Mill, Thimble Mill Road. Uh, at least that building is still standing and hopefully be standing for a lot longer yet. Uh, but the Adelphi, there's absolutely nothing, and not even any photographic evidence as far as I know, that the building ever existed on this spot. But anyway, the Beatles were here, they played a 25 minute set. On, in, uh, on the 19th of November, 1962. There's no evidence of what the supporting acts were, but they're the same supporting acts, I believe, that were with the Beatles at the Swellig Baths, and they would arrive uh, just as the Beatles finished. The supporting acts from Swellig Baths would be already on their way here to finish off the evening session here at the Adelphi. And it's hard to believe that just then in 1962 the Beatles were making a name for themselves. Uh, they just had a single, as I said, Love Me Do, the month earlier. I think they were sporting their new famous mop top haircuts. So Beatlemania was just about, was just more or less beginning here in 1962. And to think that the Beatles, the most famous pop group in all of history, are actually here on this site, here in West Bromwich in 1962. So, okay, so that was our small tour of the venues that the Beatles attended in 1962. And to imagine that the Beatles even appeared at that Thimble Mill, uh, at the Smethic Baths in Thimble Mill Lane. It's like a backwater, really, when you think about it. Uh, but uh, even so, uh, those Smethic Baths are a part of history and a history that should be preserved. And hopefully, the building will still be standing for many years to come. And as for the Adelphi, well, the Adelphi is just full of memories for many people who do remember them. I, for one, never knew the Adelphi. As I said, I just saw um, the burnt remnants of the building in 1971. But anyway, if you like the video, hit the like button and also hit subscribe and hit the notification bell for new videos. And I'll see you on the next one.